So in this case, I will go back to Cephertrust Manager to do another quick demo on the CMEK with, uh, to protect the Google storage, uh, cloud storage bucket. Log into Cephertrust Manager. I go to Cloud Key Management module and then go to Google. Uh, basically, uh, you can see that number of test keys I have. Firstly, I'll generate the key, general key for my Google bucket. I choose to upload the key to Google. I choose to generate the key locally in self chart measure. A symmetric key, I'll choose a key name. Right. I'll choose the key ring I have. Right. So and then you choose the uh, protection level of the key in, in Google KMS and then I leave the other options uh, at uh, default at junk this juncture and then you are ready to create a key right okay so that's uh, done right so you have the key id itself and the uh, destination uh, key information uh, illustrator here now i can go to the google my google console go to my key ring So go to this key ring. Now I can see my CMEK tree being created. And uh, this is a Google symmetric key and uh, it's uh, created from an import job, which means uh, it's not generated uh, from the GCP uh, KMS itself. All right, so with that, uh, I can basically uh, utilize that for Google Cloud Storage. All right, so uh, I can create, oh, that's a good uh, naming. And then I would just uh, select the region uh, for uh, for where this particular key has uh, has been created. Uh, in this case, I uh, uncreated key in Singapore region. Uh, then I can leave the rest of the options default at this juncture. And then I will go to the advanced option, which is uh, CMEK. Right. So in this case, I can choose the keys uh, available. Uh, these are the few keys I uh, as you can. I see I've been playing around with the different keys. So I need to ground the permission for this uh, Google service account to access this encryption key to perform encryption dec decryption itself. I've ground it now. And with that, basically I'm ready to uh, create the bucket. All right, so the bucket is being created uh, itself and then I'm ready to do some follow up uploading. Right, so firstly, probably I would just uh, upload some sample, what do you call, sample uh, Singapore, Singapore IC. Right, so that's uh, done. Basically, you can see this uh, uh, data is protected by the same um, key that's just not generated. So uh, if I, uh, If I copy the link address itself, I can actually uh, download the file easily. Right. Oh, that's the key link, the key address. Right. If I copy this uh, uh, storage address itself, I can actually see the actual file. Right. So that's uh, basically uh, available. Right. So next, I'll just do a quick rotation of the key in terms of illustration. Right, so this is the CMEK tree I have created, right? So I can do a, what do you call, I can click the key inside to do a edit. Uh, you can actually set a rotation schedule um, in self trust manager itself, and, and you can also leverage Google's uh, rotation uh, capability. Uh, in this case, I would just do a manual rot rotation here. Again, create and upload this uh, key material itself from key source locally. I'll choose the uh, Google symmetric encryption. Uh, this is uh, Sean SG BME K3 V2, right? So that's ready. Add a version. Right, so if first let's say uh, pending generation, then we just need, probably need to uh, do a refreshment. Yeah, you can see both key has been enabled. 
Right, so we can just uh, go back to uh, the uh, Google KMS to validate the same. Go to my query. Yeah, so I have the CMEK tree available. Then I, if I click inside, I click the key, I can I can go in to find the version information. Right, so you can see both. Uh, I have two version of the key. The second uh, version of the key is the current and primary, and it's enabled. Right, both key are enabled. So now I can go back to my bucket. Right, so um, let me just do a refresh here, my Apex share demo. Right, so you can see the bucket configuration is actually using the uh, CMA key tree. And uh, um, I can now upload another file. Uh, maybe. Uh, Right, so you can see basically I upload some sample um, credit card information, uh, credit information, sensitive information itself. Right, so I can go to that particular file. You can see the encryption key here used is already using version two. Right, so uh, basically uh, the rotation works very well in uh, with, with seamlessly with Google and GCP in terms of the usage. And uh, yeah, I can, uh, of course, uh, go into that particular file to open it. Right, so that's uh, my secret file. And then uh, the lastly, I think I just want to show you, you can, can quickly also manage the uh, key, uh, uh, what we call disabled key, if you have older versions or if you want to uh, remove the data access for uh, a security incident. So you can say disable. Right, so now basically I have two version. Again, I have two version of the key. Same uh, here, I have two version of the key, but uh, first version is disabled. Right, so now if I go back to the same uh, bucket, um, I will do a refresh here just to make sure that uh, no cache. Then if I try to download the same uh, sample files here, it's using version one of the version key. I can still download. So I probably need to uh, reload. Open another window. Yeah. So basically, now you can see it's forbidden, right? So um, um, because the key is being disabled. So, yeah. So the action message should be cloud key is disabled or destroyed. Okay. So that's the, all the demo I want to share today. It's just a quick one with CMEK with cloud, uh, a Google Cloud Storage and bucket uh, encryption.